Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. The city of Austin outlined the process for enforcing Proposition B, which voters passed by a majority vote in the May 1st election. Prop B reinstates an ordinance prohibiting people from sitting and lying down on a public sidewalk or sleeping outdoors in the downtown and University of Texas areas. City leaders detailed a four-phase process with phase one consisting of education and outreach. In phase two, Austin police will begin issuing warnings and citations. After 60 days, phase three will begin, where police may initiate arrests and or clear encampments in situations where compliance has not been achieved. And finally, in the fourth phase, citations and arrests will continue, but APD will also work to connect individuals to shelter and resources. All citations issued for ordinance violations will be directed to the downtown Austin Community Court. Court personnel will evaluate each case and develop disposition plans that connect people with social services and or assign them to community service work. We will not lose sight of the community's primary challenge around homelessness, and that is to create real solutions to help people end their episode of homelessness and get back into housing with the services they need to stay there. I want to assure you that we are laser focused on addressing homelessness in a safe and humane manner. The city has also purchased four hotels and motels to house those experiencing homelessness. City Council is currently exploring city-run encampments with resources and services on city-owned parkland. As Prop B enforcement begins, the Austin Police Department is also looking for its next leader, and they need your help. The City of Austin is seeking feedback on Austin's next police chief. Participate in virtual community meetings and provide thoughts and ideas on the characteristics and priorities for the position. This community involvement process will provide opportunities for all of us to work together to bring new leadership in alignment with community values and commitment to equity and engagement. Five virtual meetings will take place via Zoom from May 17th through May 21st, with the first meeting on Monday, May 17th from 12 to 1. To view meeting dates, visit speakupaustin.org slash yournextpolicechief. For those unable to attend, feedback may also be submitted on that website or by sending an email to community at austintexas.gov. The Housing and Planning Department is proud to announce the recent Austin Is My Home program, which focuses on providing qualifying Austin residents with low to no cost home repair programs and other housing services that can help keep longtime Austinites in their homes. Let's take a look. Austin is home to many, from folks with deep roots in Austin's culture to multi-generational families. With the rapid growth of changing neighborhoods, some homeowners may be feeling pressured. The City of Austin Housing and Planning Department has grant programs that can ease some of the financial stress of owning a home. Whether you need better accessibility in or around your home, have major structural repairs like foundation, roofing, or even electrical issues, these programs may help you stay in your home and make it safer for everyone in your family. You, your neighbors, and your neighborhood are all part of what makes Austin uniquely Austin. Austin is your home. Share this info with your neighbors. Visit austintexas.gov forward slash Austin is my home or call 311 for more information about free home repair, tax relief, and other programs. The federal government wants to help pay the monthly internet bill for low-income households. It's part of the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program. If your household is eligible, you can receive up to a $50 per month discount on broadband service and associated equipment rentals, up to $75 per month discount if your household is on qualifying tribal lands, a one-time discount of up to $100 for a laptop, tablet, or desktop computer, only one monthly service discount and one device discount is allowed per household. To learn more about the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program and to see if your household is eligible, visit austintexas.gov slash telecommunications. 12 of Austin's public libraries reopened earlier this month for express in-person services. Austinites are once again browsing and checking out books and materials, printing and copying, using public computers, and getting help from our expert reference librarians. All customers and staff must wear a mask inside the libraries. 
Staff have implemented health and safety precautions to keep customers and staff safe. This includes socially distanced seating and service areas and enhanced air circulation and cleaning procedures. Beginning Monday, June 28th, in-person service will expand at all library locations that are not undergoing renovations. For a full list of what is open now and what you can look forward to this summer, visit library.austintexas.gov. That's it for this week's City View. Thanks for watching, Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and on our dedicated webpage, austintexas.gov slash COVID-19. Stay well, Austin.